Planned Parenthood admits deceit. Hey, my name is Brenna Lewis with Students for Life of America, and this is your Pro-Life Gen News for Wednesday, January 25th. Let's get started. Live Action released a new investigative video that revealed that prenatal care, a service that Planned Parenthood officials persistently claim is offered in its clinics, is virtually non-existent in its clinics. Live Action investigators who called centers across the country who wanted to keep their babies were turned away by 92 out of 97 Planned Parenthood centers. Planned Parenthood provides less than 1% of pap smear tests for women in our country every year, less than 2% of clinical breast exams, and zero mammograms. It's clear that despite its claims, abortion is the priority and the only option for pregnant women coming into Planned Parenthood. President Trump this week signed an executive order blocking foreign aid or federal funding for international non-governmental organizations that provide or promote abortions. The Mexico City policy established by Ronald Reagan in 1984 blocks federal funding for international organizations that provide abortion or promote the procedure by providing patients with information about it, including offering referrals to abortion providers. What a great start for defunding Planned Parenthood. A pro-life group said that their St. Paul office building was vandalized overnight with anti-Trump and anti-Christian messages and a spray-painted upside-down cross. Pro-Life Action Ministries Director Brian Gibson said the messages included another expletive mouth to feed and expletive Trump. The vandalism at the Payne Office Avenue building was discovered Monday morning. Gibson said Pro-Life Action Ministries had never even endorsed Donald Trump. That's everything that caught our eye today. My name is Brenna Lewis. 